We're going to cl complete the other side of the wing the same as we did the first half. We're going to lay down our half inch strips of tape. We're going to press the tape firmly into the material, which ensures adhesion. And we're going to lift off the backing. Okay, and here we're laying down the four and a half inch piece of carbon rod. And then we're covering that with our half inch strips of ripstop nylon. Now we're laying down our seven and a half inch piece of carbon rod. And then again, we're taking our burnishing tool and pushing the two pieces of ripstop together and really sealing the carbon rod in. Now we'll be doing the wing tip and we'll start with our one inch piece of tape. We're going to run that all, uh, all the way over to the batten and cut it off at an angle. And you can notice here there's a little bit more ripstop material between that and the lead edge. As clearly shown here, that will be covered in a second with another piece of half inch tape. And here we're applying the half inch tape to finish off covering the ripstop. And again, this goes all the way to the batten. And now we're laying down our 9 inch piece of carbon rod. And our 7.5 inch piece of carbon rod. Next we're taking our wing, wing tip piece of uh, ripstop and covering both of those pieces of carbon rod. And we start by Pressing the trail down from the trail edge to the lead edge. Being careful to try and keep it as wrinkle free as possible. And finish off by using our burnishing tool to seal on the carbon rod. Now we're taking a half inch piece of tape and running it down the batten. Need about a three inch piece here, uh, placed in this approximate position. Now we're going to fold the batten back in itself and we're going to cut the ripstop uh, nylon piece that we just put on. Next we'll be taking our batten brace and we'll be placing that over the batten and the carbon rods we just put in. And again what I'm doing here is just taking any excess tape that's sticking out and folding it back on itself. Uh, this saves clean up later on. And 
take your burnishing tool and firmly press this in, making sure you get a good seal through the entire length of the piece. Now we're taking our razor blade and we're cutting off the little triangle piece that extends beyond the lead edge. Next we'll be taking our 2 inch by 3 inch piece of deck around that we'd fold it in half and we'll be wrapping that around the lead edge. I'm going to use the guidelines provided in the pattern to get the proper alignment. This completes this side of the wing. What I'm placing on here now is our trail edge pieces. These are the pieces we had cut with a slight angle on uh, the three quarter inch pieces of Dacron. There is a right and left side here, so be careful to line up the proper piece with the right side. And this just goes right along the uh, trail edge of the batten and provides a little extra strength for the, the end of the batten. Okay, this completes the assembly of the top of the wing. What we're going to do now is we're going to go around the wing and cut off any excess material. Okay, right here you can see that I had extended the wingtip material past the actual wingtip. So we just very carefully cut around that to the profile of the wing itself. Then we go to the half inch pieces. And again, following the profile of the wing, just cut off the excess material. Now we're going to take off all the tape that we had used to hold down the wings. Be careful during this phase if you're using a razor blade to lift the tape that you don't push the razor blade too far in to where it goes into the ripstop. Uh, this will cut through it very quickly and destroy a wing. And the longer pieces of tape that you actually use to hold down the bleed edge, just lift up and gently work out. Uh, it should release fairly easily from the deck run.
Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to finish the bottom of the wing. We're going to start by placing our center strip of Dacron and then doing the two V's. These pieces should line up perfectly with the pieces on the other side. The final operation is to seal the ends of the lead edge. We're going to do this by taking a one inch piece of tape and run it from the crease of the cut of the main wing to the end of the lead edge shown here. This should be about an inch and a half piece. Once you have the tape on, you're just going to take this piece and fold it over and right to the crease, pull it directly on top of itself so it aligns itself with the lead edge again, and use your burnishing tool and just push it into the material. And you'll do this for both sides. This completes the main wing assembly.